हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू बैक टू नेक्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इन प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड मल्टी लेवल क्यू शेड्यूलिंग एंड फीडबैक क्यू शेड्यूलिंग नाउ इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस 4.3 दैट इज अ डेड लॉक सो दिस डेड लॉक कांसेप्ट रिक्वायर्स टू वीडियो लेक्चर्स so it is a part first of that deadlock that is 4.3 in this video we are going to discuss system module necessary conditions for the deadlocks so after watching this video students are able to explain what is meant by deadlock second students are easily explain a deadlock system module and last student can easily explain necessary condition leading towards the deadlock in the system so my dear students what is a deadlock because deadlock is a very important concept in the operating system deadlock means a condition which is decreasing the overall performance of your system okay so what is the technical definition of deadlock so deadlock is a situation that occurs in the operating system when any process entered in the waiting state because another waiting process is holding the demanded resource okay so in another simple words a deadlock is a condition or deadlock is a situation due to that a one process entered into the continuously waiting due to another process which is in waiting for any another resource but it is holding the resource which that previous process wants okay so to clear this we can take one example so there are two processes p1 and p2 so p1 and p2 are the processes okay and p1 is holding a cpu okay so its cpu execution is over and it wants io okay but it does not release as the cpu okay meanwhile p2 wants cpu but p2 cannot get the cpu because it is hold by the p1 process so p2 is in the waiting due to the p1 p1 is not using the cpu but it is holding the cpu so that condition leads to the deadlock okay and deadlock will decrease the overall performance of your operating system a deadlock is a common problem in the multi processing environment several processes which shares a resource typically a mutual exclusion of resource or soft lock or a software which is shares multiple resources will cause the deadlock okay to understand the deadlock concept we can take a real time example so this is a real time example of deadlock okay so it is for understanding person purpose you cannot write this example in the msbt question paper so there is no need to write this real time example suppose this is a highway and so many vehicles are moving from right to left and left to right in specific situation there is a bridge okay so it is a narrow bridge and only single vehicle can pass at a time from that bridge okay support there are two vehicles this is a yellow one and this is a red one if they are on the same time on the bridge they they cannot pass the bridge because only single vehicle can pass so that condition will be called as a deadlock because that bridge is a resource and these two vehicles are the processes only single process can use that bridge at a time and another process will be in the waiting okay has art ka hai ki far simple hai tar ek bridge hai tyaja varun ekach vahan eka vei jau shakat asel tar jevi ek vahan tatna janar hai tar dusra vahan te vahan pass hoon parent apan kay karto wait karto barobar for example jar tumhi kolapur varun te पलीकड़ गाँव का 
निगवे कि वड़न गेला जो ना तो बंधार है तो बंधार अपने जाना एक बाजू जर मोट व्हीकल आए फोर व्हीलर दुसर बाजू आल तो दोन व्हीकल तो बंधारा पास होत नहीं तो राइट साइड कर आहीकल पैया पास जार लेफ्ट साइड कड़ी दुसर व्हीकल जाऊ शकता सो दुसर व्हीकल कंटिन्ुअसली वेटिंग है तो रिसोर्स क्या कंडिशन में अपन डेडलॉक मानता तीस कंडिशन मी तुम्हें ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टीम मे संग ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टीम पी वन एंड पी टू है दोन प्रोसेसेस है ते कॉमन रिसोर्स शेयर करता सी पी यू ओके पी वनला सी पी यू अलोकेट जाए पी वन सी पी यू यूटिलाइज करते पी वन आई ओ सा वेटिंग है तेल आत्ता सी पी यू लगना नहीं तरीपन सी पी यू तो रिलीज कर विच इज रिक्वायर्ड बाय पी टू सो पी टू गोज इन टू द वेटिंग कंटिन्ुअसली वेटिंग सो दैट स्टेट दैट कंडिशन इज कॉल्ड एज अ डेड लॉक सो वॉट इज द सीस्टीम मॉड्यूल ऑफ डेड लॉक ओके इन द सीस्टीम इन ऑपरेटिंग सीस्टीम बेसिकली देर आर टू मेन एंटिटीज सो मेन एंटिटीज आर फर्स्ट इज प्रोसेस प्रोसेस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द प्रोग्राम विच इज इन द एक्जिक्यूशन एंड रिसोर्सेस देर आर डिफरंट टाइप्स ऑफ रिसोर्सेस अवेलेबल इन द प्रोसेसेस सो दे कैन बी इंडिकेटेड बाय आर कैपिटल आर सो आर वन टू आर एम सो दिस एम नंबर ऑफ प्रोसेस रिसोर्सेस मे बी अवेलेबल सो रिसोर्सेस आर सी पी यू मेन मेमरी और आई ओ डिवाइसेस ओके एंड प्रोसेस आर इंडिकेटेड बाय पी एंड गोज ऑन फ्रॉम पी वन टू पी एन एन नंबर ऑफ प्रोसेसेस ओके ईच रिसोर्स ऑफ टाइप आर आई हैज डब्ल्यू आई इंस्टन्स ओके मीन्स वॉट इज दिस ओके सो रिसोर्स सपोज आर वन इज अ रिसोर्स इट मे बी ए सी पी यू सो इफ इन युअर सिस्टीम देर आर टू सी पी यूज देन द इंस्टन्स इज कॉल्ड एज अ टू सो फॉर आर वन सी पी यू वॉट इज अ डब्ल्यू आई डब्ल्यू आई इज अ टू बिकॉज अ इंस्टन्स ऑफ सी पी यू आर टू फिजिकली देर आर टू सी पी यू सो दैट इज इंस्टन्स इज अ टू ओके इन एनी ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टीम द प्रोसेस यूटिलाइज द रिसोर्सेस इन फॉलोइंग वे ओके एनी प्रोसेस विच यूटिलाइज द रिसोर्स विल डू दिस थ्री एक्टिविटीज सो फर्स्ट इज रिक्वेस्ट देन यूज दैट रिसोर्स एंड आफ्टर द यूज इट मस्ट बी रिलीज सो दैट another process can utilize that resource okay so we can take the example so there are two resources resource 1 and resource 2 so generally resources are indicated by a square bracket and processes are indicated by a circle so there are two processes process 1 and process 2 so process 1 is requesting a resource 2 ओके प्रोसेस वन ला रिसोर्स टू पाजे आता रिसोर्स टू को है तो रिसोर्स टू हा प्रोसेस टू एक्वाय करूँ है मजे तेला असाइन है प्रोसेस टू लाइ पाजे तो रिसोर्स वन पाजे ओके रिसोर्स वन को है तर तो रिसोर्स वन प्रोसेस वन कड़ा है ओके आत्ता हा कंडिशन का प्रोसेस वन पन कम्प्लीट हो रही प्रोसेस टू पन कम्प्लीट हो रही का तो प्रोसेस वन कम्प्लीट होनेस रिसोर्स वन पन पाइजे आ रिसोर्स टू पन पाइजे बरबर ना ये जे ऐरो अपने ऐरो का इंडिकेट करता पूछते डिस्कशन मे तुम्हें कहुन दे प्रोसेस वन कम्प्लीट होने रिसोर्स वन एंड रिसोर्स टू की गरज है जैसे प्रोसेस वन कम्प्लीट हो तो प्रोसेस वन का पैलदा रिसोर्स वन ला रिक्वेस्ट करेल रिक्वेस्टिंग मजे एज कुटन जाए प्रोसेस कड़न रिसोर्सला जैसी तला अलोकेट हो रिसोर्स कड़ून या प्रोसेसला ऐरो जाए सो ये अलोकेशन है ओके जैसे हा दो रिसोर्स तेल अलोकेट होते तभी प्रोसेस वन कम्प्लीट हो प्रोसेस वन तो रिसोर्स का यूज करेल आनतर तेना रिलीज कराला पाजे मे रिसोर्स वन रिलीज करेल रिसोर्स टू रिलीज करेल तो कुला अवेलेबल हो प्रोसेस टू लाई प्रोसेस टू एक्जिक्यूट होदरवाइज प्रोसेस टू विल बी इन द वेटिंग सो दैट वेटिंग स्टेट इज कॉल्ड एज अ डेड लॉक मजे तो प्रोसेस वन रिक्वेस्ट करेल रिसोर्सला यूज करेल और रिलीज करो सो दीज आर द थ्री बेसिक एक्टिविटीज इन द ऑपरेटिंग सीस्टीम डन बाय द प्रोसेस सो इट रिक्वेस्ट द रिसोर्स इट यूजेस द रिसोर्स आफ्टर द यूज इट मस्ट बी रिलीज द रिसोर्स सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ सीस्टीम मॉड्यूल ओके इन दैट यू मस्ट राइट डाउन वॉट इज मीन बाय प्रोसेस दे आर इंडिकेटेड बाय द पी कैपिटल बी 
if number of processes are there then p1 to pn then resources are nothing but any software hardware which is used by the process for the completion is called as a resource so resources are indicated by r so from r1 to rm these are the number of resources resources are cpu main memory or i o devices then instance instance of the resource is very important suppose if in your operating system or in your system there are two cpus then instance of r1 cpu resource is w cpu is 2 so that is a how many resource instance are available manje kiti quantity na to resource available hai ri jar don asel tar ri ha cpu asel tar tacha wi manje i ha जो रिसोर्स है तो कि फिजिकली अवेलेबल है तो टू तो डब्ल्यू आई हा टू हुई तो अपन इंस्टन्स मन तो तीन ऐक्टिविटी रिक्वेस्ट यूज एंड रिलीज तो है तुम्हें विथ डायग्राम प्रॉपरली एक्सप्लेन करावा लगे सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ डेडलॉग सिस्टीम मॉडल नेक्स्ट दिस इज व्री इम्पॉर्टंट क्वेश्चन एंड इट कैन बी आज मल्टीपल टाइम्स इन युअर क्वेश्चन पेपर सो डेडलॉग कैरेक्टराइजेशन और डेडलॉग कंडीशन ओके विच आर द फोर कंडीशन ड्यू टू दैट अ डेडलॉक विल ऑकर ओके सो यू मस्ट राइट डाउन द डेफिनेशन ऑफ डेडलॉक डेडलॉक इज अ सिस्टम स्टेट ड्यू टू दैट वन प्रोसेस विल बी इन द कंटिन्यूस वेटिंग वाइल अनादर प्रोसेस विच इज इन द वेटिंग एंड होल्डिंग द रिसोर्स दैट कंडीशन इज कॉल्ड एज अ डेडलॉक कंडीशन और दैट सिचुएशन इज कॉल्ड एज अ डेडलॉक सिचुएशन देर आर फोर बेसिक कंडीशन ड्यू टू दैट the deadlock will occur in the operating system first is mutual exclusion then second is hold and wait third is non preemption and fourth is circular wait okay so what is mean by mutual exclusion so i am only introducing this four points then we are discuss in the detail mutual exclusion means what only one process can utilize one resource at a time as a arth hai ek process p1 आर वन यूज करे तो दूसरी कुछ ही प्रोसेस आर वन यूज करना नहीं जब आर वन का इंस्टन्स फिर एक आल तो जर आर वन के मल्टीपल इंस्टन्स आती तो वेगवेगे प्रोसेस यूटिलाइज करू शक जर आर वन हा रिसोर्स है तेजा इंस्टन्स मे तो एक है तर तो पी वन एक् यूटिलाइज करे तो दूसरी कुछ ही प्रोसेस ती रिसोर्स यूटिलाइज करू शकत नहीं सो दैट इज नथिंग बट ओनली वन प्रोसेस ऐट अ टाइम कैन यूज अ रिसोर्स ओके सो दैट इज अ कॉज ऑफ डेडलॉक जर पी वन आर वन यूज करे तो एनी अनादर प्रोसेस दैट इज पी टू पी थ्री पी एन विल इन द वेटिंग फॉर आर वन सो दैट विल क्रिएट अ डेडलॉक देन सेकंड होल्ड एंड वेट होल्ड एंड वेट इज नथिंग बट अ प्रोसेस होल्डिंग एटलीस्ट वन रिसोर्स इज अ वेटिंग टू एक्वायर एडिशनल रिसोर्स हेल्ड बाय अदर प्रोसेस ओके so hold and wait means what so for that purpose we can take one example so suppose there is p1 and p2 processes p1 is having the r1 and p2 is having the r2 okay so if p1 want to complete the execution then it requires r2 means p2 must release a r2 but P2 is not releasing R2 because P2 wants R2 after some time, and P2 is waiting for R3. Then, using the R2 and R3, it can be completed. So, one process that is a P2 is holding the resource R2 continuously. Okay, so due to that, P1 is in the continuous waiting. So that is called as a hold and wait. P2 is holding R2 due to that P1 is in the waiting, so that is called as a hold and wait that will create a deadlock. Then third condition is non-preemption. So already you know the what is meant by non-preemption. A resource can be released only after the completion of overall process. After the completing the process, it can release the resources. to understand this suppose p1 is a process and it holding r1 r2 r3 okay so three resources are access or allowed 
or captured by P1. So R1 is utilized for only one millisecond. R2 is utilized for two millisecond, and R3 is used by the four milliseconds only. After one millisecond, R1 is not used by the P1, but it is not released. Okay, it is released after the overall completion. Suppose P1 is completed after the nine millisecond. Only R1 is used for one millisecond, but it is held by the P1 for eight millisecond. So unwantedly, R1 is held by the P1 for completion of its task because it cannot be resume or it cannot be release R1. So that is called as a non-preemption. So R1, R2, and R3 are released after the successful completion of P1. So that is called as a non-preemption. That will leads to the date lock. And fourth condition is circular wait. circular wait is nothing but interdependency of resources for that purpose you can easily understand this situation suppose there are p0 to p n processes and they are holding the resources suppose p0 wants r1 p0 wants r1 but r1 is held by the p1 p1 wants r2 but r2 is held by the p2 then r3 is held by the p3 wants by the wants by the p2 and r3 is required to the p1 so there will be circular wait so p1 depends upon p2 p2 depends upon p3 and p3 depends upon p1 so alternative they must release the resources then and then it will be overall all the process can be completed okay so that is the situation if there exists a set of p0 to pn for waiting the processes such that p0 is waiting for the resource that is held by the p1 p1 is waiting for the resource that is held by the p2 vice versa P n minus one is waiting the resource held by the P n. So P n is waiting for the resource that is held or held by a P zero. So that is a intercircular dependency is called as a circular wait, and which leads to the deadlock. Okay, deadlock. Your operating system goes into the waiting state. Unwantedly, some processes are in the waiting, which decreases the overall performance of your system. Okay, so these are the four basic reasons of dead loss: mutual exclusion, one resource, one process, hold and wait, unwantedly holding the resource if it is not want, not used, it is not releasing. Non-preemption means resources are only released after the successful completion. Circular wait, interdependency of the resources. Okay, so we can understand or we can. have more discussion on this four causes using the diagram so diagram will clears your concept so first cause of deadlock is a mutual exclusion so mutual exclusion is nothing but resource 1 having the instance 1 will be utilized by process 1 at a specific interval no another process can utilize resource 1 so that is called as mutual exclusion only one process at a time can use the resource so this diagram easily explain the concept of mutual exclusion so if any another process process 2 wants resource 1 will be continuously in the waiting so that cause the deadlock so that is a mutual exclusion second hold and wait okay so using this diagram we can easily understand hold and wait okay so from resource to process age is called as a allocated so resource 1 is allocated to process 1 means process 1 is using the resource 1 okay and process 2 is requesting resource 1 which already having resource 2 and resource 3 so it is holding resource 2 and resource 3 and he is requesting resource 1 okay so it is a waiting 
okay waiting for the resource one and unwantedly it is a holding the resource two and resource three if it is not used by the process two it must be released but resource two and resource three are hold by the process and it is requesting resource one so it is a holding and waiting so that condition is called as a hold and wait which leads to the deadlock because process 2 is a deadlock due to the resource 1 and any other processes like p3 or p4 which requires a resource 3 and resource 2 also goes in the waiting leads to the deadlock so this diagram easily clears the concept of hold and wait so it is a hold and it is a wait so that is called condition hold and wait which introduce a deadlock then third condition is non preemption non preemption means a resource can be released only voluntary by the process holding it after process has completely executed its task okay so using this diagram we can easily clear this concept okay so there are two processes process 1 and process 2 resource 1 and resource 2 are the two resources process 1 are using okay or it is a holding resource 1 process 2 is holding resource 2 okay so what is the interdependency okay so process 2 requesting the resource 1 so resource 1 is requested by the process 2 but it is a hold or it is a in use by the process 1 process 1 will release the resource 1 only after the completion suppose it is completed in the 9 millisecond but he is using the resource 1 for only single millisecond first millisecond but unwantedly 8 millisecond it is holding the resource 1 due to that process 2 will be in the deadlock or that is condition in the operating system is called as a deadlock that situation is called as a deadlock p2 is in the waiting okay situation of operating system is called as a deadlock and waiting process is a p2 so it is called as a non preemption okay so solution is that preempt preempt means after one millisecond you must release that okay so that is you have already studied a preemptive algorithm so we can discuss in the how to avoid the deadlock last condition of the deadlock is circular wait so already you know p1 is waiting the resource of p2 p2 is uh, waiting the resource for the p3 and pn is uh, uh, requesting the resource of pn and pn is uh, waiting for the resource of p0 so that will be circular wait so using the diagram we can easily identify the circular wait so there are two processes process 1 and process 2 process 1 requesting the resource 1 process 2 is requesting the resource 2 okay so p1 is requesting r1 p2 is requesting the r2 but r2 is hold by p1 yes r2 is hold by p1 so r2 is hold by p1 r1 is hold by p2 for completion of p1 it requires r1 and r2 completion of resource 2 it requires r1 and r2 so this is a circular weight okay so first there will be cycle one of the process must release the resource then and then another process can be completed so it is a circular weight problem so using the diagram we can easily explain the conditions of the deadlock in operating system you must draw the appropriate diagram and then and then you can easily explain that concept only theoretically you cannot explain the concept so you must draw the diagram so these are the four reasons due to that the deadlock will arise mutual exclusion hold and wait non preemption and circular waiting so next point is very important point so next point is resource allocation graph so first we see the definition of resource allocation graph so 
इट इज अ ग्राफ अ ग्राफ इज नथिंग बट इट इज अ सेट ऑफ वर्टाइस एंड एजेस ओके सो एजेस आर डायरेक्शनल वर्टाइस आर नथिंग बट द नोट्स ओके सो इट इज अ ग्राफ विच डिस्क्राइब द रिसोर्स अलोकेशन इन द सिस्टम मीन्स विच रिसोर्स इज अलोकेटेड टू विच प्रोसेस एंड विच प्रोसेस इज रिक्वेस्टिंग द विच रिसोर्स विल बी डिस्क्राइब बाय रिसोर्स अलोकेशन ग्राफ जनरली रिसोर्स अलोकेशन ग्राफ इज यूज टू डिटेक्ट अ डेट लॉक सो फॉर डेट लॉक डिटेक्शन रिसोर्स अलोकेशन ग्राफ प्लेज अ वाइटल रोल सो इन द रिसोर्स अलोकेशन ग्राफ V and E are V are the vertices and E are the directional edges. So in the resource allocation graph, there are two types of vertices. P P are nothing but processes. It may be from P one to P n. So there are n instances of different processes. So there are P one to P n processes, and then second vertices are resources. Uh, resources are R1 to R M, so there are M number of resources. So there are two types of edges. Okay, so edges are directional edges. Edges edge from vertices P to R means the edge from process to resource is known as requesting edge, and edge from resource to process is called as assignment or allocation allocation edge okay so these concepts are clear using this diagram so vertices resources are indicated by a square or a rectangle and processes are indicated by the circle so there are vertices process 1 process 2 resource 1 resource 2 okay so the edge from process to resource is called as a requesting edge and edge from the resource to process is called as allocation or assignment edge okay so this is a concept of resource allocation graph okay suppose in the rectangle i have small rectangle inside that suppose there are four rectangles or four squares it indicates that resource 1 has four instances means these are the four resource ones physical quantity is four means this resource one can be utilized by four different processes at a time okay suppose i have drawn a two rectangles that meaning is that resource 2 has a two instances okay so this is additional information in the resource allocation graph once again i will revise the resource allocation graph concept so resource allocation graph is a graph which describes the resources how it is allocated to process and which process is requesting the resource in the system or in the operating system a resource graph consists of vertices and edges so in the resource graph there are two types of vertices p as a process so there may be p1 to p n set of the processes and another vertices are resources so resources may be r1 to rm so in the allocation graph process is indicated by the circle and resources are indicated by the square or rectangle inside the square or rectangle small rectangle or small squares are number of instances of that resources then there are two types of edges directional edges from process to resource is called as a requesting edge and from resource to process is called as a assignment edge or allocation edge so these are the notations process is indicated by the square resources are indicated by the process is indicated by the circle sorry process are indicated by the circle resources are indicated by the square inside that four small square meaning is that there are four instances means four different processes can utilize the resource then requesting edge from process to resource 
P to R. Holding or assignment or allocation as resource to process R to P. Okay, so these are the notations of resource allocation graph. Now we can take one example of resource allocation graph. In this situation, we have three processes P1, P2, P3, and we have four resources R1, R2, R3, and R4. R1 resource has a single instance. R3 resource has a single instance. R2 resource has a sing, uh, double instance, and R4 has a three instance. So R2 can be used by the two different processes. Yes, it is allocated R to P allocation. So it is allocated to P1 and P2 at a time. P1 is requesting for the R1. R1 is allocated to P2. Okay. R3 has a single instance, so it is allocated to P3, and P2 is requesting the R3, and it is allocated to P2, and P4 has a three instance, but it is not used by any process. So this is a diagram is called as a resource allocation graph. So from process to resource requesting, resource to process allocation or assignment. So using the resource allocation graph, we can easily identify the deadlock condition. Okay, so we can take the example and we can identify there will be deadlock or not. So deadlock has a four condition. It must be mutual exclusion, hold and wait, non preemption and circular wait. Okay, so we have discussed this figure previously. We are again discussing the same Okay, so we have processes P1, P2, P3. P1 is requesting R1, which having one instance, but it is allocated to P2. Okay, P2 is requesting the R3, but it is allocated to P3. P3 is requesting the R2, but R2 is assigned to P1 and P2, correct? Because it has a two instance. So P1 requesting R1, which is hold by P2. P2 is requesting R3, which is hold by P3. P3 is requesting R2, which is hold by P1. So it has a circular weight. Okay, P1 requesting R1, hold by P2. P2 requesting R3. Hold by P3, P3 requesting R2 hold by P1. So that is a circular weight. If there is a cycle, there is a cycle inside a graph. So this is a cycle. Okay, P2 R1, R1 to P2, P2 to R3, R3 to P3, P3 to R2, and R2 to P1. So it will be one cycle. If there is a cycle in the graph, if there is a cycle in the graph, it indicates that the system is deadlock. In this system, a deadlock is fixed. Okay, because there are two, three processes, they must be completed, but they cannot be completed because alternative resource is hold by individual process. Okay, so P1 is waiting for P2, P2 is waiting for P3, P3 is waiting for P1. So that is a cycle inside the resource allocation graph will identify a deadlock condition. Okay. Sometime there will be cycle, but it is not a deadlock condition. How? So in this diagram, P1 is requesting R1. R1 is allocated to P2 and P3. Then P3 is requesting P3 is requesting P3 is requesting R2 and R2 is assigned to P4 and P2 has a R1. 
so every process has at least one resource at a time so p1 is executing with the r2 p2 p2 uh, will be allocated r1 so every process has a single resource so they can utilize at a time after the specific interval time they are released some resources so there might be a non deadlock condition there is a circular wait but number of instance of the resources are more than one so it cannot be a deadlock okay why it cannot be deadlock because a resource instance will be increasing so it is more than one that will be avoid the deadlock okay so these are the two problems where in which one graph has a cycle so it is a deadlock another graph has a cycle but we cannot say there will be a deadlock so a basic fact of resource allocation graph is first if graph consist a no cycle if there is a no cycle no deadlock in that system suppose there is a cycle then there must be a deadlock when so there are two condition if only one instance per resource and there is a cycle then it is called as a deadlock if there are several instance per resource and it exist a cycle but we cannot say it is a deadlock there is a cycle if there is a cycle inside the graph and they are having the single instance of the resource fix there is a deadlock if there are multiple instance of the resource and if there is a cycle we cannot say it is a deadlock okay what is mean by deadlock so p1 p2 p3 in the current situation they have a one one resource they are in the execution because they have a different different resources at a time they can execute at a time but if a p1 does not have any resource and it is a waiting for the p2 then it is called as a deadlock okay so that cycle carries very vital role if there is a cycle in the resource allocation graph and there is a single instance resource then it is called as a deadlock detection so we can easily detect the deadlock using the resource allocation graph so my dear students up till now we have discussed so many concepts now it is a reflection spot so listen the question carefully list out a different condition which leads to the deadlock stop this video write down your answer on the notebook take your time after the completion of your answer play this video again yes these are the four condition mutual exclusion hold and wait non preemption circular wait my dear students you must draw the diagram and explain this four condition mutual exclusion one resource one process hold and wait one process is holding the resource while another is requesting non preemption after the completion of process completely it will release the resources circular wait interdependency of the resources so next point methods for handling the deadlock how to handle the deadlock so there are two ways one is deadlock prevention and deadlock avoidation okay so in the system if deadlock occurs it will decrease the performance to have a solution for this problem we have two ways one is preemption and second one is avoidation okay so what is mean by prevention 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 means we can take care of the some condition so डेडलॉक यहाँ पूर्वी जे अपन गोष्टी करो सीस्टीम मे तेल प्रिवेन्शन मन तो पाउस यार है तो अपने छतरी घून बाहर पड़ी पाजे सो दैट इज अ प्रिवेन्शन एंड अवॉइडेशन जर पाउस आला तो आप करना आहोत मे डेडलॉक आया नर अपन का जे मेजर्स घतो तेलो मन तो हाउ टू अवॉइड दैट जर आला तो अवॉइड कस कर प्रिवेन्ट मे यून दैज नहीं प्रिवेन्शन ओके सो डेडलॉक never occurs in the system if you have prevention most of system included the 
Unix operating system have this type of phenomena of deadlock prevention and avoidation. Okay, so deadlock prevention. Okay, so deadlock prevention is nothing but to counter the four conditions. Four conditions which produce a deadlocks are mutual exclusion, hold and wait, non preemption, and circular wait. So how to prevent that? So you can having the phenomena non preemption. So you can have the preemptive algorithm or preemptive phenomena. So you can release the resource if it is not used. Circular wait. This can be prevented using increasing the number of resources. Okay. So increase the number of instance of the resource will reduce the problem of circular wait. So it is an introductory part of deadlock prevention. In next video lecture, we are going in the detail of deadlock prevention and deadlock avoidation. And also, we have a deadlock avoidation algorithm mm -hmm. is known as Banker's algorithm. Okay, my dear students, this is a very important topic, and deadlock concept is very interesting concept. So up till now, I have introduced you what is a deadlock. what are the system modules request use and release then what are the four conditions of deadlock then what are the nomenclature or what are the symbols in the resource allocation graph how we can find out the deadlock if there is a cycle if there is a cycle but number of instance are there then it is not a deadlock okay so how to draw the resource allocation graph and basic introduction of avoidation and prevention of deadlock so next video lecture we are going to discuss how to handle the deadlock by using the preventions and avoidation mm. still then we can conclude this video lecture today in next video lecture we are in the second part of this deadlock so still then stay at home stay safe stay healthy happy learning